guys, FitchDTV here, and today we're going to be finding out how to save money on an Apple Watch. As you guys know, there's a Series 0, or first generation, a Series 1, and a Series 2, but I have the Series 1, and we're going to be looking on how to save money if you want an Apple Watch, and really, is a Series 2 worth it to get? Now, if you get a Series 2, you have to pay $100 more than the Series 1, and the Series 1 new is at $269. Now, I got this one cheaper used for $100. Bucks. You can find much better deals for Series 1 used than you can for Series 2, because more people are just selling the Series 1 since it's older and get going out and getting the Series 2. Now, if you buy the Series 1, you're really only losing GPS and water resistance. And for a GPS and water resistance, an extra $100 or even more if you customize it more. It really isn't worth it. The Series 1 has no GPS, no water resistance, less options to customize, and it's only splash resistant. But it's new at $269. Now the Series 2 have a GPS, water resistance up to 50 meters, more options to customize it when you first buy it, and a brighter display, but it goes from $369 to $1,249. I'm not sure if you want to pay that much for a watch. Now they both share very similar characteristics for a hundred dollar difference for the base models. They both have watch OS 3, a dual core processor, Wi-Fi, a heart rate sensor, a gyroscope, ambient light sensor, force touch, and they have the same battery life. But not really. The Series 2 has GPS built in, but it is said to drain more battery life than the Series 1 because you know, the GPS tracker is always on in the Series 2 if you're using the GPS, which happens to drain more battery life in the Apple Watch. Hi. Okay, I'll be there. Now, if you're looking to get an Apple Watch, you might as well go with the Series 1 used or even new because for $100 more, it isn't that worth it to have a GPS and your phone has a GPS and it'll save battery life. And that's all for a $100 save or more. You're pretty much getting the same advantages in each watch, and each watch has its pros and cons, but overall for an extra $100 or even more to $1,249, the Series 2 really isn't worth that much over the Series 1. And if you still want to customize your Series 1 and get the different nylon bands that came with the Series 2, you can order those separately or get a third party band that looks similar to those and still have it look like a Series 2. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and find it useful. Also, if you get a chance, go check out my website, I'll have the link below, and I just updated it for 2017. Let me know what other videos you want to see. Also, go check me out on Twitter, and the link will be below, and I just talk about tech news there, and polls for next video, and the Q&A video, which I might be doing real soon for 2017. Thank you for watching, and I hope you guys had a good new year, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Hey guys, FHGTV here, and it's been a year since I've- I'm not doing that.